On the other hand, Bethesda. <laughs> um, what are we going to do here? We were hyped about Bethesda a couple years ago. Yeah. But then Fallout 76 happened. And uh, uh, I hope we don't see Fallout 76. We're going to see some Doom Eternal. Uh, however, they're probably going to save most of that for QuakeCon because that's when they go all out. And they said that this is a year of Doom with QuakeCon. So that's probably what's going to happen is we're going to wait to see it all there. Only thing they got going for them right now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but they got Wolfenstein Youngblood. That's true. So that'll be that'll be their likely release date for that, likely this fall. Because you know Bethesda, that's one of the things that they do do when they announce, do you? When they announce games, they're just like, bam, bam, bam. These are all coming out this fall kind right. of deal. Like they've right. done that several times in the past. So Doom Eternal this fall, Wolfenstein this fall. Mobile games, I'm sure, will be in some capacity there because, you know, they're like, Elder Scrolls this. And then you got this VR, maybe a VR game again. I don't know. Fallout 76 mobile. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, You got Fallout Shelter. They're going to do like, what do they have not done? Maybe they'll have like Wolfenstein gun play. I don't know. Uh, Prediction, though. Probably they need to show Starfield other than a title trailer. I yeah, want to. They, I wanna they s- said they're not, but yeah. I kind of at this point, I feel like they need to. They do. Yeah. Like, why would you not? I mean, if they don't, me personally, I'd be kind of worried that they're like really far behind where they need to be. Yeah. Because they've already rebooted it once, right? I don't think they rebooted it. They've just been doing it for a while, right? It's been like two or three years that yeah. they've been like working on, but haven't shown anything about it. That's true. Yeah, I just I'm just kind of worried that it's not coming along the way they want yeah. it to. So I think this is using a new engine, I believe. Um, so that's probably taking them a little bit of time okay. potentially. Okay. But yeah. yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, if they're having to redo everything because of a new engine, which they need to. But I mean, can you imagine if they showed a, you know, like a 10 second teaser trailer on a new engine for Starfield to get a sense of what we're gonna get into? Like that would be mind blowing. What that if they that just would bring like, everybody back. What if they just took like a 10 second clip from Star Citizen and was like, <laughs> Starfield. Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> like, sorry, this is what we got here. Yep. That'd be pretty funny. Um, Arcane Studios, we haven't heard from them in a while, but I'm predicting that they're going to have something here to show. Oh, yeah. um, the last thing that they revealed was Dishonored and Prey DLC. So it's been a while since we've had them do anything. So they got to be working on something. Right. Um, the safe bet, it's another Dishonored or another Prey, like Prey 2 or Dishonored 3. Ugh. But I hope it's a new Ugh. IP of some kind because they're so, like, they did a good job with the Prey reboot. I mean, it wasn't, like, hugely successful, but it was it was interesting and clever. Like, they're really, really good at making gameplay, environmental gameplay, exciting. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, and then Dishonored the same way. But I don't want to see those necessarily. I want to see what they see them come up with something new and different. Right, right. And then um, the Evil Within developers. Um, last thing they brought out was in 2017. So that was Evil Within 2. So they might have some new game up their sleeves to talk about this year that comes out in 2020 maybe. Potentially. We'll see. That'd be cool. I don't think the last two were that successful. I'm surprised I made the second one. Yeah, yeah. Like... Yeah, it was okay. It had a, yeah, it had a fan base. The second but it was one was like, better, but yeah, the first one was kind of, I don't know. That's was, not my cup of tea. Yeah, not my cup of tea. So. Not mine either. Um, and then we got the PC gaming show. So this is usually less than whelming, but there's always some, a few little nuggets in there that are pretty interesting. But this year, Epic Games is like behind it with their Epic Games store stuff. So it might be a little bit bigger than it's been in the years past. But uh, I know we're probably going to see more Maneater, which we've heard about this. It's, it's a shark game, right? Where you're yeah. like eating people and yeah. stuff. It looks uh, quirky. Looks it's one quirky. of those games where it's like, I want to drink and play this stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dead Island 2 is rumored. It still exists and is being made, <laughs> supposedly. <Surprising. laughs> right? Uh, uh, hopefully it's better than it was probably going to be. I read that uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 developers are working on Baldur's Gate 3. Larnian Studios. Larnian Studios. That's always been a PC game. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see if they talk anything about that. And then Age of Empires 4. Like, we know that's being made. And I want that, like, yesterday. Like, really bad. And I put in the PC gaming show thing because it's, like, always a PC game. So I hope they don't put it on consoles. Right. But, um, But predictions, though. You were talking about wanting an epic games 
new title. What if they brought out on real tournament? They're like, Hey, uh, that would it's be, back. It's back. 2k two zero. What? 2019, oh, 2020. Oh, oh, I Sorry. Gotcha. I don't know. Yeah. Cause they had like two. That'd wait, be interesting. 2k four, 2k two. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see if they do that, but <laughs> that would I, be good for them. Yeah, I was never a big Unreal Tournament guy. Like I enjoyed playing it. I played it a few times. You know, it's like whatever. But um, I don't know if they do it the right way. It'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was kind of hoping that Fort. I mean, not that I care about Fortnite, but either they got a new map or well, basically that's it. They just need a new fucking map. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They need <laughs> but that's a new not map gonna happen, bad. is it? No, fuck no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, no, we're not going to do that. Yeah. We're not going to do that. But uh, there's going to be a lot of indie games at PC gaming show, so I'm looking forward to seeing at least a few little teasers of some interesting things. Hopefully it's not as cringy as last year, but we'll see. Um, as far as other games, we're just going to run through some other games that are predicted to come out, but we don't know when. Or I mean... Some of them we know they're coming, but others are just like, we've heard about this, so we want to report on it and talk about it. Um, obviously, Borderlands 3 will be there in some capacity. We don't know which part of it will have it, but we'll have it there. Likely some DLC like revealed. Like, like here's You know what the game is. You know what's going to be. Here's what's coming later after you finish the game, what you can look forward to on the future roadmap. Um, Neo 2 is supposedly in development. Cool. Um, that was a small game, but like, you know, people loved it, like that played it and enjoyed it. Um, challenging kind of from software kind of game. Uh, Remedies Control. I am pretty confident we're going to see a release date of this year sometime. I'm hoping they push it to like December. I think that'd be a good timeline for them to drop this game because people will be like getting kind of, they're playing their other games, but then why not just release a really cool single player game and this December slug where there isn't a whole lot coming out. Right. Um, and there's no super smash brothers. So. I mean, it could hurt sales though. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Because maybe I mean, in January. That's, that's probably better. Cause usually at the end of the year, people don't really want to buy too much more. They already yeah. spend a bunch of Christmas and other stuff. Uh, Thanksgiving. Well, we can't, it comes out before Christmas. <laughs> like yeah. December 4th. Yeah. Or fifth, yeah, because that's like I, I what think, just caused it. I but think I don't it would know need how to well their sales were. November before yeah. Black Friday. That's true. That's possible. Anyway. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, you mentioned this this game called Lord of the Rings Golem, and I didn't know anything about this, but yeah, it just got announced apparently. It, yeah, it was like back in March or something <laughs> like that. But Data Lake Entertainment is working on it. They made the Deponia series, and um, it's uh, supposedly coming out in 2021 and tells the story of Golem before he appeared in the books. So it's an untold story, but about this like Schmeagle golem like dichotomy and action adventure game. So could be cool. Yeah. Depends how they do it. I don't I just I don't know if I want to jump back into Lord of the Rings, honestly. Yeah. I mean Shadows of Mordor was cool. I mean it had its own shtick, so like, you know, it can have fun with that, but I I don't know. Yeah. I'll see what happens. I like fantasy, but I think I've spent so much time in Lord of the Rings in my past. There's like, yeah, I don't know if I need any more. Well, speaking of fantasy, Harry Potter, I, yeah. I got to see this game this year because I, I, it's, we saw that teaser that was leaked yeah, out there. Right. I want it to exist. I want to hear about it. Wizards Unite is coming out this year, so it just makes sense to like, like just get on that bandwagon of more Harry Potter stuff. So hopefully they give some information on that. Um, and the Witchfire. This is a game that was revealed at E3. I think last year was it last year. Uh no, two years ago I believe. Two years ago, yeah. Okay. Um, not much was said year, of it, know. but it was just like this really weird, dark kind of trailer about cool graphics and yeah. fire and witches and craziness. <laughs> You're like a bounty hunter, bounty hunter type thing. I don't know. Yeah. It had a cool concept back then. I don't know if it's going to carry through to now. Yeah, but I mean, once we see some gameplay and actual trailer, it'll be interesting. Right. Um, uh, Bioshock Four, maybe coming out release 2k games um i don't know if they're gonna go the infinite route or if they're gonna go back to rapture i would love to see them take bioshock 4 if they did bring back bioshock obviously ken levine's not part of it which kind of sucks but doing like a prequel to the original bioshock to show what rapture was like in the good days and have you experience through that and be part of what like the the fall of rapture and go through that 
world and see what it looked like before that all went down to shit. Um, so not as much a horror game, but more like a suspense action game deal in that world. I think that'd be really interesting. So yeah, pretty pumped. Heck yeah, man. I mean, I would like to see another Bioshock, but again, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be as good as its predecessors. So yeah. Um, and then Bungie is working on still destiny. I don't know why, but they're still working on it. There's still a strong following of people playing destiny, but they're not getting any new players necessarily, but they're talking about destiny entering a new era at some point this year, (coughs) new DLC, new, whatever. I don't know, but they also talked about matter last year and just had like a title card of, Hey, there's this game that we're working (laughs) on. It's a new IP. So cool. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see something from them right. at either Xbox or their own just trailer drop, something like that. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a Battle Royale, honestly, because they have good gunplay. I mean, with the gunplay in Destiny, it's really good, and you have powers and stuff. Like It works well. I mean, that's what Destin- or Bungie's known for. So having that in a Battle Royale kind of makes sense, but I mean, I understand why they wouldn't do that to begin yeah. with. I hope not. Yeah. I, I would know. be so sad. I know. So sad. Yes. Um, so, la- go yes. ahead. No, go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. Last thing I want to mention is uh, Google Stadia because they're probably going to have to make an appearance here in some capacity because they're coming out this fall releasing this tech. Um, they need to be at E3. It just makes sense. Obviously, Doom Eternal has been announced to be on it. So maybe they'll have a showcase at every place or they'll just be at Bethesda maybe do some PC showcasing and you know maybe Xbox will t- well no Xbox not going to talk about because of xCloud but Google Stadia needs to be present here in some capacity so I'm anxious to see if they're going to have a show floor booth or what they're going to do with that but we need to see these games in production on Stadia so yeah I agree uh, so one thing that I just thought of and we left out of the PC game show we might see some Valve Index stuff. Oh, I forgot and to mention that. We yes. might see a Left 4 Dead trailer. Oh, gosh. Left 4 Dead VR. You have to remember it's fake. I know. Yeah. Well, no, if you go back to... Well, no, it's different. Never mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. We might see what Valve's been working on for their VR proper game. So it could games, be a, it could be a games, myriad of plural. Things. Yeah, I know. Doing multiple yeah, games. Yeah. I don't know if they'll release, show all of them, but I think... If it's what we hope it is, it could be Left for Dead 4 or 3, sorry. Yeah. I hope they do some of that. I hope they, I mean, they say it's their, their products and stuff. So that or something from the Half Life universe, that would be, that'd be incredible. That'd be absolutely incredible. They should be there, especially, but I don't know if they'll be allowed to because Epic Games is presenting it. So that kind of sucks. Oh, shit. You know, they'll be like, <laughs> no, nah, fuck to, you guys. Yeah. I don't That's know. funny. We'll, That's s- funny. we'll see how that goes. Like they PC Gamer something. would be all about it, but Epic Games is like, no, we don't want no Steam shit there. I know, right? Yeah, they're a competition. You need to change the way you practice. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Um, but they could. Um, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Right? Like now is the time to release that stuff. Yeah, and it'd be awesome to see that. Maybe they'll just have their own like showcase, like their own That'd like cool. conference, and yeah, be like, and then have like what's his name. Um, have, have a Gabe Newell come out on stage and his like chair, his throne, and be like, "Yo, check this, check it, index, check it, dog." Half Life Three confirmed. <laughs> Drop the mic, walk off stage. Exactly. I don't know, but uh, yeah, E three. That's our E three predictions and commentary. So uh, we're looking forward to seeing what this is all going to be all about when uh mm. it comes in. Mm. It's looking to be a pretty solid E three lineup. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I'm sure we'll get a lot of surprises, as we always do. Um, Hopefully, no one leaks everything like they did last right. year. Like everything right. was leaked basically. Yeah. It's like oh shit. So um, I know that they've already had the E3 pre stuff and uh, a lot of journalists have been there and people are talking pretty highly about it, that it's going to be a pretty solid lineup of stuff to, to reveal. So that's awesome. Pretty hyped. Thank All you, right. Man. So that's going to be it for our predictions. If you have any questions or want to contribute to next week's segment, please visit the and drop us a line. We'll be right back with our upcoming games for June that are free. Bye-bye. So I realized since we